projection by the IES follows a recent increase earlier this month, which has ignited discussions regarding a probable surge in transport fares nationwide. The city is currently on a downward trend, and this is about the eighth time it has been on the low since the, the year started. And so for us, with CD depreciating, with geopolitical tension pushing crude oil prices up, with international refined products seeing prices of petrol and diesel go up, putting these factors together and pegging it against the policy decisions that came from the MPA last window, we see that prices are likely to still inch up by some 5% for petrol, 4% for diesel. Expressing his stance, Dr. Yusuf Sulemana emphasizes the necessity for the government to pragmatically address the issue of fuel price escalations. Um, we have to move away from this kind of firefighting mode. What I mean by firefighting mode is to always be in the defense. Let's be proactive. We need a paradigm shift in our energy policies that we champion. You can continue to be over-reliant on external sources in terms of your energy needs and expect to have independence and expect to have security of fuel, security of other energy supply. No, it cannot be. Despite the expected surge in petrol and diesel prices, there's a forecasted decrease of around 8% in LPG prices. Michael Obudu, 3 Business Accra.